And now in the studio we have... The Simpletoes! The Simpletoes! The Simpletoes. Now, what do you um, what do you think like makes you stand out from other sort of artists? Because like you don't have instruments, and you know what sort of band are you? Uh, we are an a cappella uh, group, which is we, we make all the music and all the instrument sounds with our voices. Wow! Uh, so yeah, we don't need any instruments, uh, and they cost money, so it's cheaper just to do it with your voices. <laughs> That's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched the movie Pitch Perfect? Anyway, I love uh, it. Yes, I have. It's I own really that cool. film. And you tried to do the cup thing, didn't you? I can do the cup yeah, thing. I've, I've seen the video. It's not very good. I can do it better now. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's a good film. Yeah. We're not yeah. quite like that, though, because we don't have any ladies in our group. Yeah, because... <laughs> oh. I was wondering when the first insult would come. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. No, <laughs> quite a lot of them. We had a spread bet on it. Do you insult him often? Uh, yeah, oh. kind of. The, the roles in the group are quite clearly defined. You know, there's you know the the, the grumpy bearded one. Yeah. There's the kind of the butt of all the jokes, which is uh, this is Big Nick. Who would you say the uh, mum of the group is? I'm, Simon. I'm probably the mum of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm definitely the mum of the group. Yeah, I look after everyone and feed them, and we rehearse yeah, at my house. True. So yeah, you feed me quite a lot. Yeah, I generally feed you all the day. Yeah, every time you're in my house. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Who's the one that sort of um, is like, not irritating, but gets told off a lot? Uh, no, uh, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be Nick again. Have you any ideas, Nick? Probably me. <laughs> oh, let's steer this uh, somewhere else. So. <laughs> so, how are you? <laughs> how do people react when you tell them you're a barbershop band? First of all, they're confused because a lot of people don't really understand what barbershop is. They yeah, sort of think, oh, that, that's quite cute. Yeah, barbershop, I've heard yeah. of that what, sort yeah. of. There was a film with Ice Cube called Barbershop. That's what someone said to me. <laughs> it's like that film. It's like, no. No, it's not like a film with Ice Cube. No, it's not. <laughs> and Cedric the Entertainer. I'm none of those things. Neither so entertaining is, nor a cube. So, so what is barbershop? Is barbershop? Uh, it is a type of a cappella music, um, but it kind of started in the kind of late uh, 1800s of all times uh, in America. Uh, the reason it's called barbershop is uh, basically people started singing in actual barber shops and started you know, harmonising and kind of singing to kind of make the day go by late a little Victorian. bit quicker. Late yeah. Victorian kind of era and continued really. Do you find that when you say you're a barbershop band, do do people what's people's reaction? Do they say, "Oh, that's interesting," or do they, "Oh, that's pretty weird"? Yeah, they kind of say it's interesting, and they kind of obviously imagine it being kind of old, kind of dead music, I suppose. And obviously, you know, barbershop is pretty. Uh, it's still alive and kicking, especially again. A lot of it is going on in America. Really, kind of quite you know well-known groups and stuff in America doing that. Uh, obviously, quite a vibrant scene. Um, so yeah, they're kind of interested, and I think when they hear us kind of sing that kind of stuff, they really like it. That is the thing isn't it? I mean that's what I found that I mean I first saw you I don't know years ago at the original band showcase competition in the musician I think it was and um, you know when you see barbershop band oh I'm not too sure but then when, when you stand up and sing you think wow what is this you know where have you been all my life <laughs> <laughs> And it, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's like when I saw you at Summer Sunday. Um, that was in the Watering Hole Ten, yeah, 2012. That was very good. Uh, there was quite a few people in there when you started, but when you finished, it was packed. And you were the, the only band. I've told you this before. You're the only band I saw that day that got a standing ovation, <laughs> and you got it at the beginning of the day as well. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that's one of the things that's always kind of happened with us is that people, because they don't really know who we are or what we do we do get that where we have a smaller crowd at the start and people sort of walk past and they think oh what's that and then they come in and then they hear it and then they stay for the rest of it so we, we like when we first started out a lot of our crowds came that way so we'd have mm -hmm. a few at the start and then a few more as we carried on and by the end the, the whole place would be packed what made you start the simple tones um I'll be very brief on this one. It's, it's, it's a little good story. It's, it's an interesting story. Uh, I set up a choir, community choir, about four years ago. Um, and Ian, who's both of his sons, I uh, taught and teach, uh, joined the community choir. Uh, little Nick uh, here uh, joined because his mum joined. His mum told him he had to come along and sing. And I actually taught Nick music at uh, the school I teach at a few years ago, quite a few years ago. Uh, and uh, other Nick was his mate. So they all basically were in community choir, and I decided that uh, I was bored of just waiting 
waving my arms around so I wanted to get a chance to sing so I just said why don't we set up a group and they said alright basically it was about we wanted to go to the pub after singing generally it was about the pub we could excuse ourselves going to the pub and get drunk after we've done some singing but the singing actually is quite enjoyable as is the pub so really you just thought okay let's set up a, um, an a cappella group and then after the deal is that you just go and to the pub get yes. drunk okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. okay that's yeah. just, just, I know, it sounds like a really good plan anyway <laughs> it's yeah. Going well yeah anyway after the break we'll be having one of your little songs that is a cappella what will it be uh, it's going to be our arrangement of uh, Winter Wonderland the Christmas song for you brilliant take over <laughs> Walking in a winter wonderland Gone away is a bluebird Here to stay is a new bird He sings a love song as we go along Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll see I am married, we'll say no man but you can do the job when you're in town Later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Bye! He'll say I am married, we'll say no man But you can do the job and you're in town Later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face out of fate the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Walking in a winter wonderland Walking in a winter wonderland Winter wonderland Made in Leicester That was actually brilliant. Wow, like, where did you get all, like... I don't know, you were like so deep and then you were like so low. Does it like, does he it hurt your throat? Well, he has a beard, so I think we've worked out that beards make men sound, sound bassier, we, is that what we think? There's no scientific facts um, for that, no. Okay, <laughs> I don't think so, no. <laughs> talking, of, talking about the way you sound, so I know, I know it's no big secret that uh, you're, you're currently doing very well at, uh, at, your, uh, at your Weight Watchers classes these days. <laughs> That's absolutely rude. <laughs> it's not absolutely not rude. supposed to be talking hopefully, about that. He puts it over his face. Hopefully it, tomorrow I'll, s I'll pass four stone. Four, four stone in 12 weeks. That not, not that he weighs four course. stone. No, no, I don't weigh four stone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. But yeah, so I was, letting the, I was letting the side down was a little bit kind of... I was taking up more stage area than we could really handle in the group, so... Oh, right. But as, <laughs> as a result, what I was, was going to say is hasn't that affected the tone of your voice, the sound of your voice? Um... <laughs> Not massively at the moment. Again, people said I might lose my voice and not be able to sing at all and everything. Um, but no, not really. I think I sound generally the same as I did previously. I think. Oh, okay. so. um, have you written any of your own Christmas songs? Uh, we haven't written any of our own Christmas songs. Again, we arrange, obviously, um, all our kind of the major vast majority of yeah. our songs uh, ourselves. Uh, but we've kind of done our own kind of intro and a few other bits and bobs. And we've done a couple of original songs that were, were there. But again, we mainly do the kind of covers arrangements because that seems to be what people shout at us uh, that want to hear mainly Lion King but you're not doing that today <laughs> okay. no matter how loud people shout <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> um, anyway, it's time for the Quiz of Doom. Dun dun dun! Quiz of Doom. Yeah. Quiz of Doom. Quiz of Doom. Oh, this is a surprise. This is a surprise. Yeah, I didn't know the Quiz of Doom. This is the part of the interview where you lot have to try ask as many questions to either me or Kevin, uh, as many questions as you can in thirty seconds. About anything. If, anything. Just let you know if either one of us says I don't know or gives a wrong answer, that still counts because you asked the question. We have to do all of that in thirty seconds. Right. Okay. Did you get that? Kind of. Let's go. So let's he has go questions. And it doesn't matter whether you get them right or wrong as long as you say something. Well, yeah. That's okay, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah. I'll go with that. I know you don't get bonus points if you pick me. I knew you was going to yes, say. Do. No, you don't. You don't Bonus because boys, Kevin nine. don't Kevin don't like being quizzed because he's too slow. Because my <laughs> nan can be quicker than him. Anyway, who would you like to pick? Uh, Kevin. Ha! I'm so happy. I'm making friends. Right now, yeah. Thirty seconds start from now. What's your favourite fruit? Orange. Uh, what's his name? Um, Steve. Steve. Oh, do I have to? Do I have to yes. ask a question as well? I, okay, what uh, what's the capital of Abyssinia? Um, Molotov. <laughs> Who won in a fight, Dale Winton or Michael Bublé? <laughs> Dale Winton. Wrong. Is Canada really a country? No. Um, how much weight have I almost lost? Four stone. You're uh, helping me. Keep what going. What was your favourite subjects at school? Um, maths. Stop. Oh, oh, we didn't do very well. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight questions. And because you didn't pick me, I'll give you an extra three. Oh, excellent. Thank you very Nine, much. I made the right decision. Eleven, but you're still not still first lost. or second place anyway. That's all. We, d we you don't only got mind. eleven. You, you know, who's, who, who, who's got, who asked the most then? Um, asked. It was, what's his name? Fo it's three I A's. What's his name? He's got three Mohammed. Hold on, that was one of my questions. <laughs> <laughs> who, or who is it? Who is Adam, it? Adam. 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 Adam he got eight. 23. He got 23 in yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, he uh, asked me to, we what were, was one of one, what was one of two, what was one of three. That's oh, clever to see. He obviously... Yeah, and it. second place was Elizabeth, who works with Ox Jam. She got 14 for second place, but sadly, you didn't come. Anyway, no, yeah. anyway, <laughs> anyway, 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 it's the taking part that matters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. definitely, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, um, at least you didn't get four, like John Fryer. <laughs> he, and actually, he got three. I only give him a bonus point because I felt sorry for him. <laughs> well, I'm sure John felt good. But about turns out he that. was very ungrateful. Oh, he well. just says, "Oh, you never told me the rules." I'm Why like, "You inviting him back then?" <laughs> <laughs> He's now famous, though, because we mention him on every program. Every single show. Yeah, but, oh, well, he should be grateful because of that. <laughs> anyway, tell us about the Barrow on Saw Christmas lights switched on from 4.15pm till... Quarter yes, that's... Um, yeah, we're uh, performing at uh, Barrow. Um, I initially thought it was Quorn. It's opposite that, it's Barrow. Uh, we're going to do some Christmas lights singing and some Christmassy songs and uh, go up with our uh, waistcoats and our potentially ties and looking smart and suited and booted and stuff, which should be good fun. Uh, we did Leicester Christmas lights a couple of weeks ago and obviously another Christmas light, so we are in demand at Christmas. Actually, that's a bit weird, because that Barrow one, you'll actually be there at the moment. Yes, you are currently <laughs> singing there. We have, we literally are that good that we can be in two places at once by the magic of radio. So, if you're in Barrow, you could stick your head out the window and listen to the radio at the same time and get... <laughs> get us in stereo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we'll be having another one of your songs, and what is it called? Uh, we're going to do... Uh, it's very uh, English. Englishman in New York. Wow. Wow. wow, a brilliant name. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Love music. You'll love takeover. Dum, 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 dum 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 dum
You drink coffee, I take tea and tea. Like my toes done on one side. You can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. I see me walking down Fifth Avenue Walking can't hear at my side Take it everywhere I walk I'm an Englishman in New York Whoa, I'm an alien I'm a legal alien I'm an Englishman in New York Whoa, I'm an alien I'm a legal alien, I'm an Englishman in New York. If man is make it man is someone celebrate, then he's a hero of the day. Takes a man to suffer ignorance and smile. Be yourself, no matter what they say. Whoa, I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien, I'm an Englishman in New York Whoa, I'm an alien, I'm a legal alien, I'm an Englishman in New York Monastic properties can lead to no serratics You can end up as the only one a gentleness of gentleness to brighty, a rareness to sati, and I don't care no those brighter than the sun. It takes more than combat gear to make a man. It takes more than a license for a gun. Potential enemies avoid the way you can. Gentlemen will walk but never run. If man is making man is someone said. He's a hero of the day. Takes a man to suffer ignorance and smile. Be yourself, and no matter what they say. Be yourself, and no matter what they say. Be yourself, no matter what they say. Brilliant. That yeah. was Englishman in New York by Sting. It was indeed. The boring guy from the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you like him. <laughs> oh, no. I had to research him about two hours and I found nothing, but oh well. Anyway, that was an absolutely brilliant cover. Did, you, how long you. did it take you to like rehearse her? Because it was like uh, a bit sort of we, song. Uh, that one was one of the first songs we learned. It probably took us about six, seven weeks of rehearsal. No way, but really? Yeah, it takes, takes a while, because obviously, you know, we've got, we've got to learn it in the, in the first point. And, uh, yeah, it takes about, yeah, between three and six rehearsals to, yeah. to nail a song and get it ready to perform. OK, well, that was absolutely brilliant. And it's Thank been you. absolutely brilliant having you on the show. Would you like to pr plug anything? Uh, yeah, we do have a, a big event coming up um, called the Christmas Vocal Explosion on the uh, 14th of December. That's Saturday, the 14th of December. Uh, it has got the National Barbershop Quartet Champions, uh, Emerald Guard. They are... Uh, won gold at Bournemouth this year. We've also got a couple of uh, top ten barbershop choruses, uh, Simple Tones are performing as well, uh, uh, our Lancaster Community Choir, the choir I run as well, uh, and an uh, international um, competing vocal group from Birmingham University called uh, Sons of Pitches. Uh, but if you go on the Little and Large uh, Facebook site, there's lots of information there, and you'll probably see some posters dotted around, uh, and yeah, tickets are uh, available online, and uh, yeah, we're good to see It'll people be great. there. Yeah, it should be a really, really yeah, good night. Yeah, so, definitely, I'll, I'll pop down, you should pop down as well. Oh, well done. Yeah, definitely. Um, and what's this about the um, you getting 16th place in the national? 15th. 15th. Uh, wow. We qualified. It's uh, everything's you know. Uh, we qualified to go through to the finals of the Barbershop Quartet Championship uh, next May. Uh, so we were wanting to move up from 15th upwards. Well, I'm going to get top 10, but that might be stretching yeah. it a little bit on our first chance. But uh, but yeah, we're one of the top 16 quartets this year, and hopefully be uh, higher than that. 
pretty good for a first go. Yeah, not bad at all. How? When uh, Kevin noticed it, I saw um, Big Nick looking all proud of himself, like, oh, six. No, it was, it was Even when I don't say anything, I get abuse. <laughs> yeah, this is that. She's learned very quickly. It, was, quickly. it was 15. Yeah. It was 15. It's she can be up there now. We are yeah, very yeah. proud. Very, very proud. Very proud. Definitely. Did you get like a trophy or anything? Not yet. Not for 15. No, I think, you know, they probably didn't have enough money to do 15 trophies. But uh, the trophies all get given out in May. So we're hopeful okay. to move up from where we were. Definitely. And see if we can get in the top ten, and then we'll be uh, put that on the old uh, on the website. You yeah, <laughs> have got a, a trophy in your picture on Facebook, haven't you? So. Yeah, we won oh. a, a silver medal um, last year in the barbershop chorus competition. So, like the big barbershop choir, we joined a chorus in uh, Sheffield of all places with some of my ex students. Uh, so, we're hoping to go for gold with that next uh, um, this year as well. So, hopefully, we might be able to get a top ten quartet and a gold medalist in the chorus competition. That's our hope. So, that will be good. Brilliant. Anyway, it's been absolutely great having you on the show. Make sure you keep in touch with Kevin. Via our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash made in Leicester and the number one. And remember, if you want a shout out or anything like that, you can call into 0116 or you can text or a takeover followed by your message to 84555.